Hey guys, this is Nathan. Welcome to Punters Pre-Mortem. The Triple X Special this weekend comes up at race five at Rose Hill, number two, Shiraz. 50 metres. He's back to back wins for Shiraz. He's just as impressive today as he was first up. And that's eight wins from 13 starts. Bowman eases him right. Race eight over the 1500 metres. My numbers are five, nine, and four. Five, Mana Nostro! Mara Nostro up on the speed. James McDonald will claim a double. Wins it by a length and a half. What to take me to? Quite it down. All right, we weren't in the penthouse last week, but winners are winners, and you won't go broke back in them. Triple X Besh this weekend comes up at race three at Caulfield, number three, Volcanic Ash. Looks to get the conditions to suit on Saturday. Back to the track where he won last start, at the same distance of 1,400 metres. Her story came out last weekend at Flemington, won by two lengths in quite a strong race. That's good winter form. Looks to be a progressive horse, and it's going to get the job done on Saturday, so I'm going to be getting on. Yep, it's my show. I'll do whatever I want. Two triple X special the weekend, that's fine by me. The second triple X special of the weekend comes up at race four at Canterbury, number two, Zaratone. Look, I understand this horse hasn't won a long time, but if, if he's ever gonna win another race, it's on Saturday. 1100 meters on a soft track, on potentially what could be a leader bias track, and it's a field of horses that aren't really in form. If we're almost gonna win another one, it's on Saturday. The sneaky, cheeky, each way better the weekend comes up at race five at Canterbury, number six, Konachi. It's a lot of conditions that suit this horse on Saturday. He's on a soft track, back in distance from the 1400, which he didn't quite run out. The booking of Brendan Abdullah here, I think is quite important. I'm forgiving his graft and run when he was on a good track. He's getting a softer track on Saturday. $13 is the wrong price, and I'm gonna be getting on on Saturday. Won't you take me to town? Won't you take me to town? Canterbury race five over the 1250. The numbers are one, three, four, and six. The let's get through the first leg quaddy. One test of shadow. I've been tipping him all bloody preparation and he gets scratched twice. His three-year-old form is superior to these horses and even though he's got to carry the top weight on Saturday, I think he's the class and he's got to be on top. Three global domination. He went through the grades last preparation and will be on pace on Saturday. He might just lead the whole way and pinch it. Four way we go was ultra impressive at Randwick. He does go up six kilos and does get a wide draw. His win was too impressive to ignore and has to go on the quarter just on that effect alone. Six Kanachi handles the wet tracks and got the gun Brent and Dollar aboard, so we can't leave him out. Race six over the 1250 meters, my numbers are one, nine, and five. One cool ring, the gray beauty. This is his time, he's third up, he's fit. He's ready to win. He's better than these horses and that's what he's gonna be doing on Saturday is winning. Nine, nothing like Luca. He's a sneaky one here at $18. Danny Bees is a good booking. And as you saw two starts ago in the same grade, he beat a horse called Cornrow who was uh, ran fourth in a blue dime, which is over this distance. He's not out of it, and $18 is a crazy price. Five breakfast in bed. Blake Shin staying aboard breakfast in bed, I think is a big indicator of this. He could have ridden forget in this race. He sticks, I'm sticking, can win. Race seven over 1100 meters, my numbers are three, four, and seven. Three missed 10 pins. She's up in grade, yes, but she loves this track, and she's won four races here. Loves the soft track, and Brendan Abdullah can give her a peach and just go and win. Four hard to hold, run over the top of 50 shades of grade, which tells you how good she's going. Hugh Bowman on board, can win. Seven Nikogao, I'm prepared to forgive her first up run when she was favorite. Has three-year-old filly form that's up to the best of them in the, the Magic Millions series. Can't knock these horses, you've got to stick with them sometimes and I'm sticking with Echo Gal and she goes in this quaddy. The last leg of the quaddy over the 1550, my numbers are four, five, and one. Four, Maranastro! Yeah, 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 I know I like saying the name. Nobody's here, I'm trying to make it a bit more interesting. Four, Maranastro, he's the top selection this week because he got us to the quaddy town. He was impressive though, and he did get through the heavy track. He's up in grade, but he's back to the track where he has won three times from three starts. If we get to the last leg, he's gonna be winning for us again, and we're back in the quaddy town. Five foreign prints, gets in really well with a three kilo claim of Jess Taylor. And as we saw with two blue, he was only a length off them. If two blue was in this race, she'd be winning it, so it has to go in just on that fact alone. I don't wanna do it, but I gotta put it in number one, Hollywood bound. He's a hard horse to catch, but he does like soft tracks and this distance range, so he goes in the quaddy, and hopefully, will be winning for us on Saturday. On the turn, 500 out, Fearless, Bright and My Axman are together. A length and a half, Lawman, Kingston Town can't win. Grover and Kingston Town flashing, he might win yet the champ. Grover took the lead off, Kingston Town swapping them. What a run, Kingston Town wins it, Alexa Grover. The can't win file this weekend comes up at race six at Canterbury, number six, forget. That's exactly what I'm gonna be doing on Saturday. I'm gonna forget putting you in my quaddy. You can't win on Saturday. So what, you won two races in a row? You're not up to this class though. 
and you're not going to get a heavy track, you can't win. We will be very, very angry with you, and we will write you a letter telling you how angry we are. Dear Cradle Me, every week you do the same thing. You run on, you get us excited for the next start, you're not getting me anymore. You cost me double the quaddy payout because I put you in the Shiraz leg. Never again. You're just a cat. <laughs> Never again. The rock and rangy rang do is joining in on the outside. Is it his day to day? It's road to rock and rangy rang do fighting it out. Rangy rang do on the outside is in front and rangy rang do gets his group one.